Serenaded, serenaded by kookaburras. Mm. Hey, that is boiling. Yes. Thanks, Ria, <laughs> for the regular drip coffee supplies from Japan. That old railway station and siding. <coughs> so there is a trail that runs along here, and you can go all the way from Darkin right through to Collie. Just go for a little explore. So. Someone's car seat repurposed as a sofa. So if it was really wet, you've got somewhere to stay. Nice warm cup of coffee done. Yes. And uh, we are at the Boelling siding. And uh, now we're going to go and head sort of sort of north from here out through the Boelling State Forest, hmm. uh, somewhere I've not ever been before. Um, and, you know, it's only, well, what are we, an hour from home. Yeah. And, yeah, and all the time, never been there. So we're going to go and have a look. See what's out there, just some gravel roads, nothing too serious I wouldn't think. Bike is serviced and we are free to run. What have we yeah. just ticked over 2,000 k's? Yeah, 2,055 k's whoop we're whoop. done now. Yeah. So yeah, no restrictions now until next service due at 10,000 k's. Uh, got the good tyres on, just ordered some underbody protection and um, a few bits and pieces so they'll be here in a few weeks. Uh, and that'll almost finish off the bike build. Um, and it's just a matter of getting out and uh, putting the miles on the thing. Body-wise, I'm starting to feel a bit better, so that's why we're out today. Just testing the waters a, a little bit more. So, push, yeah. the, push the distance a little bit further. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's all that's really holding us back now, is just getting a bit better, and then we're good to go again. New Zealand series is nearly wrapped up. Um, thanks to all those that have, have watched that New Zealand series and uh, yeah, enjoyed the uh, enjoyed the more technical side of it by the look of it. The, uh, <laughs> the couple of two or three episodes that are a little more challenging than the rest of the, the series and they definitely get more views, more likes, more comments. So <laughs> that only tells us one thing. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be scared uh, more often. We need to do more of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, all, all right. right, let's get um, let's get cracking. Bags are all done up. Yep. Well, I did my side. Yep. There we go. There's the old siding building. The, uh, it's the main stop for the rail trail, isn't it? Yeah, it's the, the one sort of designated overnight stop. It's yep. a full 60 k's from just out of Collie through to the other side of Dark and where it ends. So you can potentially do it in a day on a push bike. It's sort of suggested maybe like five or six hours. It's a big day on a push bike, so yeah. Well, I guess in today's world with e-bikes, you'd probably do it... <laughs> with relative ease. <laughs> 60 k's is not very far on an e-bike these days. Nope. Ooh. Well, that's a bit skatey. Insert first bike drop here. <laughs> ah, why does that say 
Uh, oh, that's that way. Yep. That's all right. We're going this way. The map. Oh, it's been birds pulling oranges to pieces or something. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, Varus Road. Varus yes, Road. Yes. Varus Road. Yep. Yeah. A few houses and properties and stuff dotted all the way along these um, this road as well. A fair bit of uh, tree plantation dropped in as well. Yeah, I'm sure when I was looking at the map the other night, uh, a bit further up here, it sort of opens up into quite a bit of farmland area again. Oh yeah. Back out into a bit of farmland, which opened up. Oh, there's a couple of eagles. Oh no, they're black cockies. Red tails. Yeah, we're going up that one. <laughs> we're, apparently we're going up this one. <laughs> okay then. This is more what we're looking for today. Yeah. I think. So still on Barris Road. Yes. Yeah, it's nice in here. It's very nice. Staying on Avaris Road by the GPS, yep. See, this is what looking on a map doesn't show you. <laughs> no. It just you says the, there's a uh, no. It just says there's a road here. Yeah. Oh, yeah you can go around there. It's well used. Yeah, there's a road there, and then even if you look at satellite images, it's like, well, uh, it's a road. Yeah, it just looks like a pretty good road. Only one way to find out, eh? <laughs> Come and ride it. Come and ride it. Tires feel. Yeah, they're all right actually. <laughs> <laughs> you did say we were going right. Yeah, pretty sure. This tells us we shouldn't go straight through. <laughs> uh, that's Ernie Road, so we could go left. So, so if we go, if we go left here, yep. that'll take us across to Don, and then I think we'll just keep going all okay. the way across Ernie if it's okay. Yeah. Looks like it's a little bit bigger of a road too. A little bit of a breeze. Yeah, just all of a sudden. You know I don't like it when the track turns white. <laughs> What does that normally mean? Sand. Sand. This time of year it's usually not too bad though. Oh well, wow. perfect conditions for a day ride. A little bit cooler as we've come inland. Oh, the road gets big. It does get big. So this is Don Road, I think. Uh, yes, this is Don Road. Ernie Road carries across and comes out at the uh, Collie Williams Road. Mm -hmm. Out there. If we go up Don Road, yeah, we might do that. See if there's anything else up that way. Sure. Pretty typical state forest, isn't it? Yeah. Just moseying our way along, still on Don Road. Pretty 
good condition road. Yep. These nice stands of gum trees every now and then. Look great with the sun coming through, eh? Mm. down through here. Not bad at all. Good bit for practicing uh, standing up, two up on a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are coming up on the, what are we? Quindanning Darken Road. This will be the end of Don Road. Been a nice little uh, yeah. Nice little jaunt across it, actually. Definitely one to keep on the yes list. Yeah, definitely. And we'll go left, because we don't want to go to darken. <laughs> this will be a pretty big road by the look of it. Yeah. Back onto the um, the Collie Williams Road first, which this will take us to that. Oh, okay. Uh, and then we'll head back towards Collie just on on that, um, and then we'll turn off to the right and take Boundary Road and sort of head north again. Yep. Here we are, just coming up on the Collie Williams Road, and you see the water pipeline runs beside the road. This one, if we go straight ahead, we'll carry on through to Quindanning. But we're going to go a lefty here. 48 k's from Collie we are. Just scooting along the back top, looking for more dirt roads. Not long now, there'll be one coming up. coming up on the map there now. A couple of k's down the road here, we'll be turning off. More gravel please. Although that sunshine's nice. Yeah. here somewhere that we can turn off and start heading west again. So Probably sort of head for Harvey now hmm. once we get up here a bit. This is Trees Road which is one that we've well and truly been on before. I don't know that I've been on this end of it. I don't know how far, we might have been through here in the car once, many, many. Maybe, yeah. So we're heading for that little blue dot in the middle of the screen there. Let's go and see if we can find him. You right back there? I'm just recording again. come past the first entrance to go into that little lake she's a uh, pretty rugged looking track so we're just going to carry on up here and try the top one oh, it look may at not puppies. be any better oh. red tail blacks yeah all right let's see what this track looks like <laughs> So far the turn-in looks bigger. It does look a um, little better. 
yeah. Oh yeah, not too bad. Yeah. It's a little bit, well, this end a little bit less overgrown looking. We shall see. Oh, pretty. There we go, got the lake in front of us now. Not sure whether there's going to be a little side track to get to it or what the go is. And whether it's only a blue marking on the map or if might, it's actually got water in it. Might be bone dry. We have had a lot of rain though. Look at that. There we go. Here's a road. <laughs> That's a very loose term. Yep. Ooh. Oh, there goes that white stuff. Ah, she's all right. <laughs> Pretty firm. Mm. We go from sand to this black slippery shit. Slippery shit. stuff. Yeah, oh wow. Is real, generally really slippery. I can feel I can feel that. Um Do you want me off? Yeah, you want to jump off? That I don't, got, think, I, I don't think we'll go much further with this. That got very slippy. Yeah. <laughs> um I'll just wander out here. you're riding out without me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more to do with this black slimy shit that's on the ground. Yeah. Stay in the middle oh, here. Stay on the green stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're right. What's that doing? Giving you a bit of sand, is it? Yeah, well, just as well I wasn't any closer behind you. <laughs> Child. <laughs> uh, what are you saying about spinning the wheel? Oh, stuck in the trees. All right. We good? Are we good? Yeah, yeah. Had a look at the lake. What yeah. was it called? No, Nal Nalyering. Nalyering. Now we. <laughs> cool little stop. Come across that the other night, just yep. buzzing around on a map. And yeah, that's what you come across. Yeah, yes, we guessed right that this end might not be as well used. <laughs> We go this here should just put us back onto another road here somewhere Ooh, maybe somewhere it just becomes here. just becomes this road does it 
her. It's only a little short section in here, yeah. a couple of k's, I suppose. Hopefully it doesn't get wet down here. Oh yeah. Sort of suspiciously looking like it's gonna get oh. wet. Um. Oh. Um. Is that slippery under? Oh. Lost the GoPro remote. Oh, where would that be? be I reckon it'll be back where those trees were, hey? Walking back up the track looking for a GoPro remote that's just fallen off the bike. A bit of luck. Might be able to find it. <laughs> just flying hey. and it's not natural habitat. <laughs> One Regan Rides GoPro remote. I only had to walk about half a K back up the track, so not too bad. Successful. However, what are the thoughts on continuing on the track? Uh, we're nearly out of it. Okay. Like it's, yeah. So I think we'll be okay. I think we'll have a go. Uh -huh. Oh, who needs motorcycles when you can walk, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Not in this, all this palaver of this gear. Was, this was deep. Look at them. Uh, it's full of tadpoles. <laughs> full of tadpoles, and clearly our motorbike upset them. No end. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, nothing like a bit of off-bike antics. Here we Ooh. go. Atlas parked up in the bush, just <laughs> waiting patiently. <laughs> we don't have far to go. Yeah, well, I was looking at that, but I'm also looking at how much it looks like it's getting into wetlands. Wor worse wet, wet. Worse. Worser. But just, you know, going by the track I just saw on the other lake. But hey. that. <laughs> Look at them, full of tadpoles. Oh wow. <laughs> um, yeah. As long as it's shallow, it's all right. Yeah, and I, I, think, I, I think... Don't wanna, I don't want to get up there and can't turn around. Yeah. I think you're probably better doing it without me. It's, um, oh yeah. It's getting squidgy. It's slippery. Oh, stay on the middle, it'll be all right. I just need to see around the corner. Oh, yuck. The tadpoles are madness. Oh. I think we'll be all right. If you wait there. Yeah. I'll try and negotiate the puddles. <laughs> hey, nope, what do you got? And I can barely see the track. You'll be able to turn around if you need to. Oh no, that's deep. Deep? Um.
Yeah. All right, so you're saying we're turning around? Good. Okay. Turn. This is going to be the tricky bit. Sorry. A frog. That wasn't a finest moment. It was all good till it wasn't. Man, she's heavy. All right, well, we're just backtracking a bit now after a, a, a muddy ordeal and a bit of heave hoeing. I got bad fast. <laughs> uh, it got heavy fast. <laughs> well, that too couple of deep holes from wheels and then the water was running into it so they were sinking quicker and I don't think I had the camera on or I thought it was on and it was off or something I don't and know at, at some well, no oh, no I thought that track was here somewhere um other side of the log um yeah at one point the helmet came off and got past to me so who knows <laughs> Right, see how this one looks. We were gonna take we were gonna take this one originally, looked at the map and went, no no, it's a quick way out there. Huh. One. Two hours later. <laughs> no, not two hours, but no. And we did walk it for a bit and think, yeah, it's alright, but then I walked further and went no no. <laughs> Oh, had it been all right, we would have been right. It was just the turning around was yes. the tricky bit because it sort of got us out of the track. Yeah. Never mind. Here we go. A couple of layers less and thankful for a bit of cool breeze now. Yeah. Just for 10 minutes and then it'll be too cold again. <laughs> and I reckon we're at least... Oh shit, we're probably at least an hour away from a pub. <laughs> that is not <laughs> which, ideal. Which sounds really nice about now. Yeah. Oh, uh, this has opened up to a nice road now. Yeah. Definitely. Much, much more enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I can see Trees Road again, so it's been a, a fair old loop around to get to Trees Road. Hmm. Power lines. There we go. Oh, how pretty is this? Yeah. Big opening. We go trees road 77 road we'll just see if we can stay on trees road eh yeah
we're back uh, on the gravel roads, just making our way home now. Left the uh, the Wokal up cabin. Nice little spot. Yeah, they got a brewery. Yeah. That was cool. So uh, we're just going to take a couple of sort of back roads home, something a little different, and. Uh, That'll be it. I checked some footage and it would seem that I don't have any sound on the piece when we come down the hill and we were waving and saying goodbye and how great a ride it was and all of those nice things. We so here we are again, we're going to do it again. <laughs> we might have pushed the limits on yeah. the battery life with our little delays in the, in the jungle. But that's okay. So, uh, yeah, so I had a great day. Yeah. Uh, put some dirt, proper dirt on the bike now. <laughs> she, she's used now. So, uh, really good. Nice to get back out on it. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure, hopefully, it won't be too long before another one. Definitely not now. So, it looks like our uh, pending weather uh, it's coming in this afternoon now, a few raindrops. I think it's going to chase us home. Yeah, just about will, I think. So, yep. Well, that'll be okay. Take some of these weird twisty back roads and find our way home before the rain. Hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, give it a like, hit the subscribe button. Uh, yep. Jump on over to Regan Rides uh, dot online for the website. Uh, got all sorts of info there about what we've been up to, what's going on, um, and uh, yeah, share it around. Tell everybody about it. We're yeah, much appreciated for those that are watching it. It's good. Yep. So we'll uh, we'll have another go. We'll wave frantically at the camera and say, "See you on the next <laughs> one." <laughs> Bye. Bye. Pretty time of night on the estuary here. Pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah.